Good afternoon. I'm Nicole Austin with your King Sport Chamber, and this is a program spotlight on Visit King Sport and all the things they have coming up. And I am joined today by my good friend and co-worker, Frank Lett. Frank, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. You have a new, you are not new to the chamber, but you have a semi-new role here at the chamber, and you are the new Chief Tourism Officer, I want to get it right, President and Chief Tourism Officer of Visit King Sport. You've been on the roll here about six months. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, it was the first 18 and a half years that got me ready for it. Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But you guys have a busy fall, and we want to talk about this cool poster and this event that's coming up. But first, tell us about next week and your event with the X-Men. Yeah, so on Monday and Tuesday night, we have the Appalachian League All-Star Game here in Kingsport at Hunter Wright Stadium. Monday is the Futures Game. Uh, kicks off at 5 o'clock. We have Home Run Derby oh, after okay. that uh, with the, the Appalachian League players. And then the ultimate Garth Brooks Tribute Band will be playing on the field after the after the Home Run Derby. That's so fun. If people are interested in tickets, what do they do? Uh, AxeMenBaseball.com. They can get them right there. Um, and then that rolls into Tuesday, which is the actual game. There will be a player's uh, luncheon here downtown Kingsport. Daryl Strawberry will be in town for – uh, be the guest speaker, and then the game will be that evening at 7 o'clock at the stadium. So come out and see the Axeman game. And the Axeman, this is sponsored by Visit Kingsport, right? That's right. The, the game is presented by Visit Kingsport. Um, there's a few other local sponsors. I don't want to miss one, um, but I know um, First Bank and Trust is, yeah. is the sponsor for Monday night. Um, but, yeah, big event, uh, televised on Major League Baseball Network and then so. streamed. Um, so big event for us here. Bring the family. It's going to be fun. Now, let's talk about another big event. We've done this before, World Long Drive. What is it? How do we get tickets? Tell us all about it. Yeah, so uh, we did it in 2018 and 2019 here in Kingsport in partnership with Nicewanger Children's Hospital. Um, it was owned by Golf Channel at the time. Uh, Golf Channel shut the program down in 2020 due to the pandemic. Um, I said at the press conference, I'm the biggest liar in Kingsport because I said it would never happen again. I lied. It's happening again. Yes, we uh, love that, though. That's We're right. glad you're wrong. That's right. Uh, GF Sports Entertainment bought it from Golf Channel. Uh, they've started a series of qualifiers throughout the year. Uh, Kingsport is the first televised event. It will be on Golf Channel. Um, the event is the 26th, 27th, and 28th of August. Mm -hmm. But the, the televised portion is the evening of the 28th. Um, but fun weekend coming up. Uh, they have Kids Day on Saturday. Yeah. Sponsored by the Kingsport YMCA. Um, and then qualifying Saturday, qualifying Sunday, and then all the finals will be Monday, be Monday night, which will be the televised sport. So people can buy tickets to this event as well, right? Absolutely, yeah. $20 ticket. Uh, if you see one of these posters, there's a QR code down here, or you can go to worldlongdrive.com, and it'll take you to the, the ticket portal, mm -hmm. and you can buy tickets for all three days. But kids are, um, are free all weekend. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Lots of kids. Lots bring of in kids. mine. That's right. So the fall, you guys have a busy fall, lots of things coming up. Tell us a little bit about what's on the horizon. Uh, so some of our bigger events that will be going on, we have uh, the Fall Wing Fling coming up in November. Uh, I'm going to go a little out of order here. The Downtown Kingsport Association mm -hmm. Wine and Whiskey Festival mm -hmm. will be in October. Uh, we'll start with all of our collegiate events that take place in November um, with the Appalachian Athletic Conference softball, or not softball, wrong season, volleyball championships. <laughs> um, and then something we're really proud of is the NAI, the show basketball tournament. I think we're going into our eighth or ninth year of doing it. We started with eight teams the first year. Mm -hmm. Last year we had 28, and this year we have 30 teams coming, 30 college teams. They'll play uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday after Thanksgiving. So if you're in town looking for something to do with the family, uh, it's $10 a day to get in for adults. And there'll be a, a multitude of games uh, throughout the weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You guys do a great job. Incredible team. Visit King Sport. If you want more information about Visit King Sport, check them out on the website, social yeah. media. Visit Kingsport.com, but I would really encourage you to follow all of our social media handles, whether it's Fun Fest, uh, Visit King Sport, Downtown King Sport Association. Mm -hmm. Lots of happenings, and you can get the inside scoop on most of the events and live updates usually when there's weather or something where we have to adjust. Okay. Well, thanks for being with us today and telling us a little bit about all the things happening at Visit Kingsport. Congratulations on the new role that's sort of old by now. We're glad to have you here with us today. That's going to wrap it up for us. Have a great week.